Hey everyone, I'm Dale English here at the CBI Valmar headquarters in Huntsville, Alabama. We're going to show you today how to modify the new Vallejo alternator that you'll find in most Yanmar engines to our new Smart Ready regulator. Let's get started. This is the MC614-VL-01 uh, regulator modification kit for the Vallejo alternator. This is what you find in the kit. You've got the 30-SR12-02, which will consist of the new regulator, the plastic cap, and all the accessories you need to make the modification. This kit includes, also includes the MC614H regulator. That is the regulator with harness. It also includes the alternator temperature sensor, the MC-TS-A. This will go on the uh, Vallejo alternator. There is a screw provided for its installation. It also includes the MC-TS-B battery temperature sensor. The tools you need for this installation are very simple. It is simply a 7 millimeter socket, or a nut driver if you have one, and a Phillips screwdriver for installing the alternator temperature sensor. This is everything you receive in the kit. The alternator temperature sensor, the battery temperature sensor, the MC614 regulator along with its fuse for the sensing wire. You get the programming tool and also the main part of this is the regulator that we're going to replace the stock regulator with. This is a, a smart ready regulator that can be intern makes the alternator where it can be internally or externally regulated. This comes with a little cap that after you make the installation you pull the brush retainer part off and then this will slide over as we'll show you in the um, demonstration of how to do that. But that is a part that comes on after you remove the bearing retainer. And then we got a plastic cover that uh, fits on the back of it that is the end part of the installation. This is the, this is the new Vallejo alternator that you'll find on a lot of the new Yanmar engines. Being that it is 120 amp, most people did not want to replace the alternator but have our smart ready regulator. We have designed a regulator that will allow you to do that by replacing the original regulator with our new regulator. It allows you to either use this alternator as an internal regulated alternator or use it with our smart regulator, multi-stage regulator. We're going to show you how to do that today. It is very, very simple. As we showed you before, we have two basic tools to do that with. We have the seven millimeter socket we use to remove the cover. As you remove the cover, with that there's only two screws doing that. This cover will not be used again because we have supplying you a cover with the kit. This is the alternator once the cover has been removed. As you see there are three bolts holding it on. Again, they're seven, mil seven millimeter. So if you take and remove this regulator, you'll install our new regulator. Again, put in the three bolts. Once you tighten that down, once that is done, you remove the brush retainer. As you'll see, that comes off and your brushes are now exposed. Now, in the kit, you also have the new brush cover. Simply slide that over. There's slots there that you got to put that in. You slide that over and basically the initial installation is complete. Once you install the regulator and tighten the three screws, you now install the plastic cover. The red wire is your sensing wire. We have drilled a hole in the cover for that. You simply take, pull that wire through that hole, and then slide your cover on, lining the mounting bolts up with the holes in the alternator. It takes a little bit. You want to make sure it's down tight and snug. Once the cover is installed, you need to know what these terminals are. It will be in the instructions, but this terminal is for your ignition. You will not put power to this terminal if you're using the external regulator. In fact, you do not want to have anything on this terminal if you're using the external regulator. However, for an emergency or if you want to just use the internal regulator, you need to have ignition hooked to this terminal and this terminal, this wire going to the battery for sensing. Second terminal here is your field terminal. That terminal will be connected to 
the external regulator that is in the kit. This is the alternator temperature sensor. In the temperature sensor, you will find the Phillips head screw and a small washer. You put those together like that, small washer underneath the screw between it and the lug for the temperature sensor. And there's a hole here on the side and you want to screw that in. Once you finally screwed in the uh, temperature sensor to the alternator, you want to make sure you connect the other end to terminals number 5 and 6 on your MC614. That should complete your installation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. For product, contact your local Yanmar dealer or the Balmar distributors as listed on our website, which is balmar.net.